So let's dive in into the introduction of vehicle dynamics. So the term dynamics refers to the study of things in motion. That's the basic definition from physics. And naturally, vehicle dynamics is a study of vehicles in motion. To give a more insightful definition of this term, we can state it as the study of the causes and effects of the vehicle's motion. So the cause will be the input and the effect will be the output. Now these causes and the effects can be in a wide variety on a vehicle. So the inputs can be either external or internal. An external input will be something like the wind acting on the windshield of the car which is imposing a force on it or something like a bump which comes on the road that is an external input. Internal input will be something like the input from the driver like steering input. So all of these inputs will cause an output that is a response and all of these effects or response will be internal to the vehicle. Now if we deal the vehicle as a system, so the input will be the disturbance, internal or external disturbance and the output will be the end behavior of the vehicle that is in motions or in accelerations. And both of these will be connected. So it will be like a control system. So output will give some feedback and the input also will change to the vehicle system. So this will be the vehicle as a system. So the crux of vehicle dynamics is the study of the mechanisms which disturb the state of the car and the mechanisms through which the vehicle responds. So these two statements are the crux of vehicle dynamics, the study of the input and the study of the output. That is the study of what disturbs the car and study of how the vehicle responds. Now the types of inputs as I've already told are two types. Apart from that, the inputs can be gradual, they can be constant or they can be sudden. So a gradual input is something which is gradually increasing. A constant input is something which is constant throughout, something like a wind force which is acting on a vehicle which is cruising. So it's the, the input, the force exerted by the wind is constant. Or the sudden input is something like a bump which is coming while driving and which causes a sudden disturbance on the tire. So that is a sudden input. So external would be the road irregularities which are coming on the road, the air and wind which is acting on the outside shell of the vehicle. All these will be external inputs and the internal inputs will be the braking action which is initiated by the driver the acceleration which is initiated by driver and also the steering inputs. So all these three will be the internal inputs. Almost always the internal and external influences on the vehicle will be acting together and the net effect will be the output, the response of the vehicle which will be the behavior of the vehicle to these combination of internal and external influences.